The following question is about electrolysis and the question states that which changes are observed during the electrolysis of aqueous copper to sulfate. So you're electrolyzing aqueous copper to sulfate, but we're using uh, copper electrodes. So these are not inert electrodes, but, but copper electrodes. So before answering the three, uh, answering this question, I would need to first discuss the electrolysis of copper sulfate using copper electrodes. So this here is my electrolysis diagram. This is the cathode, this uh, side is the negative terminal. So this is your cathode. Uh, electrons are being provided by the battery. Uh, it's, uh, they're giving off, uh, they're being given off at the cathode. So this is, this over here is the cathode. Whereas the other side is the positive terminal. So this is your positive uh, terminal or electrode, or it's also called the anode. Uh, the battery would be gaining electrons from this side. Uh, so let's label this. This is my anode and both of them are made from copper metal. So this is also made from copper and this is also made from copper. The solution on the other hand contains copper sulfate aqua. So the solution contains uh, its CuSO4 in aqueous state. So it's going to contain uh, two ions uh, from copper sulfate, uh, which would be copper 2 plus. Since copper 2 plus are positively charged ions, they would be attracted to the negative terminal, which is the cathode. And SO4 2 minus, since it's a negative ion, it's going to be attracted to the positive terminal. And there would be two ions coming from the from water as well. One would be H plus 1 ions, because positive ions would be attracted to cathode. It's negatively charged. And the other ion coming from water would be OH minus 1. OH minus 1 ions would be attracted to the positive terminal. Uh, they're going to be attracted to uh, anode. So what's going to happen at cathode is, we're going to discuss what's going to happen at cathode. Uh, the least reactive of the two, uh, hydrogen and copper, is going to get discharged. To figure out which one is the least reactive, we need to refer to the reactivity series. So the battery is giving electrons, so either the electrons would go to Hydrogen ions would gain electrons or copper 2 plus ions would gain electrons. To figure out which one gains electrons, let's refer to the reactivity series. And uh, I have Cu2 plus ions over here and I have uh, H plus 1 ions over here. Now the least reactive is the one that's going to get discharged, which in this case, the ease of discharge uh, uh, increases to the right. So if you look at the reactivity series and if you look, uh, there's a competition between copper 2 plus and H plus 1 and we need to figure out which one ends up gaining these electrons. So it's going to be the least reactive, which in this case is going to be Cu2 plus. So my reaction that would happen over here is that Cu2 plus uh, at the cathode would be that Cu2 plus would gain electrons and it's going to gain two electrons to form copper metal. So eventually what you're going to start seeing is you would start seeing copper metal getting deposited at the cathode. So this is what's going to happen at uh, cathode. Whereas at anode, the battery is trying to gain electrons. So uh, you have three uh, three elements, uh, three substances that, that would be uh, losing electrons. One of the three would be losing electrons. So it's either going to be OH minus one that ends up losing electrons or SO4 two minus that ends up losing electrons. Or you have this electrode, this entire electrode made out of copper that would also uh, uh, be in the competition for losing electrons. Now remember, when, you're, when your uh, electrode is made, anode is made out of metal and a reactive metal, metals have a very high tendency to lose electrons. So uh, it's not going to be OH minus one that ends up losing electrons. It's not going to be SO4 two minus that ends up losing electrons. It's always going to be the metal electrode itself that loses electrons. So what happens over here is that copper ends up giving its electrons to the battery and copper two plus ions are formed. And those copper two plus ions would start, uh, they would then dissolve in the solution. So your anode would start it would start to dissolve. And all the copper ions that would be formed, they're going to be dissolved into the solution. So this is what's happening in this electrolysis. Now we're going to go back and try and answer the question. Uh, so we need to figure out which of the three statements are correct. If you look at the first statement, it's saying that a pink solid is deposited on the negative electrode. The negative electrode is this cathode over here. 
So uh, the pink solid that's uh, being referred to is it's the copper ions that are getting discharged. They're gaining electrons to form copper metal. This copper metal in its pure form is pinkish in color. So, so the first statement uh, at the negative electrode, a pink deposit would be formed is going to be correct. This first statement is correct. Moving to the next statement, uh, bubbles form on the positive electrode. If you look at the positive electrode, this was your positive electrode over here. And uh, what was happening at the positive electrode was that uh, the battery was trying to take away electrons and it was the copper electrode itself that was losing electrons to form copper ions. So what was happening was the anode would start to dissolve and all the copper in the, in the anode, they're going to form copper ions and they're going to go into the solution. So they were, there were no bubbles being formed. There was no gas being formed. So this second statement is incorrect. The third statement is that the color of the solution does not change. Uh, if you look at the solution, it's uh, copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is a blue colored solution. So initially the color is blue. Uh, and if you look at on one side, copper ions are getting converted into copper and on the other side, copper metal is getting converted back into copper ions. So the amount of copper ions in the solution, they're going to remain completely unchanged. Copper ions are being used up. They're getting deposited at cathode, but at the same time, more copper ions are being produced from the anode. So the total amount of ions in the solution, they're not going to change. If nothing is getting changed in the solution, then the color of the solution would remain unchanged. It would not change. Hence, this third statement, the color of the solution does not change, is also correct. So only statement two is incorrect. So according to that, the correct answer is going to be option. It's going to be option B.